Hi guys, I hope that you had a beautiful day. I hope that your week is off to a great start. I am actually on vacation and it's so late, so I'm not gonna be on here long. Let's see, <laughs> usually when I come on here, it's like a marathon. I have so much fun with you guys and I can't get off of here. So let's see if I can just do a quick update but I just wanted to come on and say hello and really just to send you a lot of love. I want to just comment on a phenomenon. Every time I say phenomenon, I think phenomenon, do, 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 phenomenon, do, 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 do. Um, but it's really not a cute thing like that song. Um, hi, Michelle. Um, I'll see you soon. Anyways, so I came on because I wanted to tell you two things. One thing I did want to tell you, because it's so good, <laughs> is that the party is about to begin next week. My live program, Abundant Ever After, starts next week. And it's so good in there, you guys. You can actually breathe. You can actually see clearly. And that's part of what I want to talk about. Um, but sometimes I don't come on here live and say, you guys, the program is about to start. And so I decided I should come on and let them know because I want you in there with me. And so I want to let you know. And if you go to kathyheller.com slash join, actually the early bird price is still going on. We had a pre-sale price and then that went away. Then we had an early bird price and that's still going on till midnight. And I think it's going to be like midnight Pacific time. So still going on for a few hours and uh that's still good till a few more hours and then also my retreat my next live retreat we have the dates and it's going to be in oh sherry's so cute she's like if you haven't done it yet run don't walk um our next live retreat is going to be on a ranch in malibu in august and you could sign up for that also at kathyheller.com slash join. It's going to be so good. All right, so here's the phenomenon. The phenomenon is how gnarly our thoughts can be. Type a one in the chat if you are ever like, ugh, I could be just having a totally different kind of moment right now, but I'm thinking about this, or my mind keeps telling me this, or whatever it is, right? And the reason I say it's like such a phenomenon is because thoughts are not facts, okay? <laughs> just because you think it doesn't mean it's true. And it's just amazing because the more we really understand right? Knowledge is power, okay? And the more we understand, we can disempower all this stuff. And see, the thing is that the things you think, they don't stay in your head, okay? Because what you think then creates how you feel. And it's not just a feeling. It's not just like sadness or worry or doubt or nervousness or anxiety. It literally creates a chemical which then makes your body feel ugh right? Your cells feel everything you think. And then you broadcast that into the world. But before you even get to what you're broadcasting and what you're creating and all that jazz, just the fact that you spend five minutes feeling yuck or 25 minutes or an hour and 20 minutes. It's just like, and believe me, right? I have, I have one of those things. I have a mind. I have a brain. I have a hardwired programmed sub subconscious mind that does this dance and does and oh my god sometimes I just laugh when I just notice it and I'm like what thought was that does anyone want to be brave and type in the chat a real juicy like whopper of a thought and you're like did I really just think that thought like seriously right the things that you can think the ways that you can totally like pull the wool out from under you, like the rug out, right? It's just, it's awful, actually. It really is because your subconscious just like repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats. And so uh, I, I feel for all of us. I do. I do, myself included, right? We're all in that work where we're wanting to be free from that. 
But the good news is that the more that I have practiced, and it is a practice, right? Yoga is a practice, meditation is a practice. The, the more that I have practiced being able to notice it all, right? And then memorizing who I really am and how to, like, you can memorize it. You can remember, whoa, this really feels like me, right? And that, who is that imposter? Like, that's the imposter, right? So the thing that I'm here to do is two things. I feel like that guy, was it Chuck Woolery? Who was the guy who was like, we'll be back and two and two it was the Love Connection guy. How much am I dating myself that I used to watch Love Connection? And by the way, I was like, or was it the dating game? <laughs> I don't know. I was, how old was I when I was watching that? Probably like eight or nine. And how funny was that show? Bachelor number two. What do you, I mean, was that like the original Love is Blind? Anyways, why are we digressing so much? The point is, the two things that I want to do is A, I want to help to have as many humans as I can to come out of the trance of your very, very toxic and sometimes very painful subconscious thoughts that you didn't program, by the way. Like those were programmed by like all the people around you, your parents, your community, or whatever else. And it's time to get in there and like learn how to code, right? Learn how to be, we, we can become, you know, more conscious and more awake than we are like just in this like, ugh, this virtual reality that just feels terrible, right? Because reality itself is so good. Yesterday, we went to a planetarium and we've been before, but we went yesterday and it's just so powerful. Like you sit back and you're watching this movie and this one was about all the different planets and it was like discussing how there was like almost life, you know, on Mars, but it didn't quite work because I guess the core temperature of the earth is so hot, which is needed, and you need certain kinds of, you know, temperature in order to sustain life and all of this stuff. And apparently the temperature of the earth's inner core and of the atmosphere creates a magnet. There's a magnetic field around the earth, which sustains life, which is so fascinating because I, I talk all about this magnetic field, but the point is I didn't, I don't really know enough to get any of it. But what I do get is how expansive reality is. Like it really blows your mind when you think about how limited we think. Like we literally sit here and think things like, how would I start a business I love? Or how could I possibly, you know, just enjoy more of what I'm doing? And it's like, we think so limited. And then you're sitting in a freaking planetarium and they're like, so here we are looking at the moons of Pluto and oh my God, Uranus and Neptune. And they're very, they're very careful, right? To say Uranus when they take, it's just so funny. My husband was laughing at that. But the point is you're looking at just how unbelievably expansive this thing called reality is. And how many times a day do you hear people say, the reality is, well, the reality is, and I'm like, do you know reality? I don't think you do because you're telling me the word reality but what is reality what are you talking about let me let me tell you what I mean and those of you who are in my workshop maybe you heard me say a part of this I don't you guys I talk so much I don't even remember like when did I say this thing or did I even say it or did I say it to myself and my poor husband I tell it to him constantly he now has by the way he was telling the kids oh a um, bedtime story the other night and the kids prefer my stories I have to say there's things that they prefer of his but they typically prefer mine and they're like tell us a story and he's like he starts telling a story and I'm overhearing it and he goes there was a guy his name was Kodak and he had a, seriously this is what he said and he had a camera and every time he took a picture it would give them two photos it'd be a picture of what was in the moment and then a picture of what was going to happen in 10 or 20 years and he tells this whole story and long story short, somebody else years later finds the camera and they say it doesn't work and they go to this wise person and the wise person says, no, it never actually gave two photos. It was, it's inside of you. The second photo is your vision of what can happen. And then I was like, 
he's getting it. He was laughing. I was like, I'm hanging on your every word. It was so funny. You guys are probably like, Kath, get to the point. Can I just get to the point? Forgive me. It's 1141 at night at my, my coast. The point I was trying to make is this. I forget the things that I, what my point was, I say a lot of things and I'm like, did I tell you this? But here's what I'm going to tell you. Reality. Okay. We talk about reality and we're like, it would take, you know, so much for this to happen. We overestimate, we over, when then we talk about time, how much time is needed. Then we talk about space and well, I'm here and I don't live over there and nobody, you know, I'm not anywhere near the people I need to know. Like we have this It's like a total illusion. I mean, it's honestly insane. So I was doing this pop quiz the other day with my kids and I said to them, how long is a day on earth? And they're like, 24 hours? I said, yeah. I said, how long is a day on Jupiter? And they're like, I don't know. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. Do you guys know? Does anyone know? So a day on Jupiter is nine hours and like 50 something minutes. Crazy, right? Do you know, let's go outside of the solar system. Do you know how long it takes for an hour to pass in space? 26 seconds, 26 seconds. So the point I'm making is that if you zoom all the way out, right? The further you get from Earth, time starts passing much faster. So if you zoom all the way out to God, how fast does it go? It's, it doesn't exist at that rate. Meaning if you go beyond the solar system and an hour is 26 seconds and you keep going, and you went all the way to the creator of this universe, to God, to the force, to whatever created the Big Bang. I'm very comfortable with the word God, but I know some people aren't. But the point is, if you just keep going, all that exists is now. Time collapses. The past, present, and future are just right now. You guys getting that? that? That's real, man. That's reality. So that's why I say our thoughts are such garbage because they're constantly telling you what's possible, what's not, based upon what? Based upon the tiniest sliver of a viewfinder through a lens of the subconscious program called the ego that everyone's is different, right? Depending on whatever got put in your code, your program, your software. It's just fascinating when really what real reality is, is infinite, it's totally abundant, and it's beyond space and time. So that's that's one of the two things that I'm teaching. So every time I come live, every time I go on my podcast, every time I do one of these programs, that's what I'm teaching. What's cool about coming to one of these experiences like a live retreat or being in my program is that Like the program, for instance, for six weeks, it's 12 weeks, but for six weeks we are meditating and we are doing the work to understand both the quantum physics, the Kabbalah, the sort of the Zen, you know, mindfulness. We're sort of mixing all that together so that we can find a way out of the program and come into that place of like actual alignment with our consciousness. It's pretty amazing. And we don't get what we want, we get what we are, right? Life is a magnet, it's a boomerang, it's a tuning fork, it's a guitar string, it's resonance. So the more you're in who you are, which is expansion and abundance, and you're swimming in that frequency, you're broadcasting that signal into the field, you get that back, you get that back, you get that back. So now you're like really cooking with gas. And now you're able to like get those divine downloads and project into the field and imprint a signature that is abundant and it's so cool and that's the work I've been doing for 20 something years okay but the second thing I do in this program which is unusual I think and the second thing I do in all the work I do is I teach people how to build build abundance another way right 
first you build abundance just by being a match for it, a vibrational match. But the second thing is by building a business. And why I find that so juicy is because business is an amazing way to raise your hand and be a leader in this world, to have empathy, to solve a problem, to be creative, and to offer your gift so that you feel a sense of purpose because the truth is you can become a vibrational match for abundance instantly because you are abundant. So just by clicking in to alignment, abundance will start flowing in. But even the people I know who have tons of abundance in every area, they have tons of love, they wanna share it. If they have tons of money, they wanna give it. So it's not enough because we don't just wanna receive abundance, we wanna give it away. It's like blood in the body, right? The word currency comes from the word current. It means to keep moving like a river. So it's not enough to be a vibrational match. Your soul is gonna to wanna to give it away. So that's why I love teaching you how to build a business because building a business is based upon you taking your gift and putting impact in the world and then exchanging that and making an energetic exchange, not only around your gift, but around exchanging it around money, which is helpful because then you're co-signing for other people, their abundance by charging, even charging more right? Because we don't sell price, we sell value. And we sell the story of abundance to other people, right? So we would never get into this BS, BS belief system, right? About scarcity, we would hold for other people that they would want to elevate. So they would want to spend more on things. They'd want to spend more on a trainer, more on a retreat, more on a product, more on a hotel, because the more they spend, the more they're co-signing the story they tell themselves about what they're, what, what they're worth to themselves, what life is worth, what it gets to be like, what, what's available for them, all that stuff. Anyway, I just love helping you guys take the things you're already good at, the things you're already doing. I mean, it's crazy, you guys. I started this podcast at 37 years old with three kids, getting no sleep. You know, there was nothing famous about me. And now, not only has it grown to over 30 million downloads and it's you know helped me make friends all over the world and gotten me two book deals, but now I'm doing a deal with a podcast network and I can't believe, honestly, it's really hard to believe how much podcasting has become such a thing and how much people are, I was just saying it at dinner tonight. I was like, I cannot believe how much money I'm being offered to do a podcast on a network that I started in my closet. It's just, there's so much here, right? I say to people like, just like you're surrounded all the time by Wi-Fi, you just don't, you can't see it. You are swimming in abundance. You didn't create the market, the money, but just all around you just exists. You didn't create the opportunities, they just exist. But the question is, are you showing up for them? Are you raising your hand for them? Are you available for it? Are you a match for it? So this is what I'm here for this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so this program, Abundant Ever After, it's so whole. The signal is so clear. So we start next week. We start next week. So if you guys want to get in, go to kathyhoe.com slash join. If you have any questions, you can DM me. And then, by the way, if you sign up for the platinum version of it, you get the retreat included. But you could also sign up for the retreat separately. And thank you guys for saying all these nice things. And then um, the platinum version also includes my podcast program. The platinum version literally is a combination of five programs that we all sell individually, the retreat, the podcast program, the abundant ever after. Literally it's five programs that we usually sell a la carte that equal $11,500. No joke, like we sell those programs but we put them all together so it's less than half and tonight it's still on discount so that's really good the gold package is also great because it's on discount still and you can sign up for the retreat and come join me in malibu and we're gonna meditate and have like when i say the best time because it's beyond time we're not in this time we go to a place that is literally beyond time right i always say like the best where the best place to be is is nowhere and the best time is no time right because you don't want to be bound by like oh here's my story 
this is everything I say about who I am and where I'm from. We just keep reliving a story. Like, this is me, this is what I am, this is what I'm not, this is what's coming, this is what's not coming. And then we just keep being a magnet for the same thing. There's no surprises. There's no big like, oh, that was an amazing adventure today. Look at all the cool, th what if we woke up every day with this feeling of like, what amazing shit is gonna happen today? Like, I cannot wait. What if we woke up with like, I'm swimming in this Wi-Fi broadband, this field, this magnetic field, and I just wanna be a magnet, right? And how do I be a magnet? I gotta get that dopamine. I gotta get that oxytocin, literally, like quite literally, in order to be in the magnet, you need higher vibes, literally, or else you're not a magnet. It's true. They've done the studies on our energy and it's like, and then we wonder like, well, I felt all, and then we, and then we tell, we tell ourselves, well, the reason we're like, well, here's the reason I feel bad as if that matters. It's like, there's always that stuff, right? Half the day, there's 12 hours of darkness we see and 12 hours of light, meaning like there's always that stuff, but we cannot allow that, right? We can't allow ourselves to be like handing over a remote control to everything we feel and let the environment, let the outside decide, right? Isn't that the whole Viktor Frankl? Like, but the truth is that when we are really truly aware of what we're thinking if you re if you really boil it down no matter what so often so often we are usually suffering because there's levels of thoughts that are just gnarly as hell right like there is like actual um jessica is my friend and she's a doctor and she said oxytocin helps with uterine contraction and milk production cool I didn't even know that um so yeah i i just think it's fascinating you know i did like one of those lip sync things to esther hicks to abraham hicks and she's like i will come to know that life is supposed to be fun i will come to know that good things are supposed to come to me and i did that lip sync and partly because i love it but partly because it's like it's such a shocker right people are like yeah i really don't think that I really don't think life is supposed to feel good. I really don't think life is supposed to be fun. But like, seriously, that is, cr when you really think about that, that's crazy that people would walk around with like, oh yeah, so what What? what do you think? Well, I expect that life is supposed to be miserable. I expect that life's supposed to be hard every day. But why would we expect that, right? Because so often we get back whatever we believe we find the evidence of it so why would we believe that why would we choose that why not start saying i will come to know that there's clues everywhere that point me towards you know what i'm here to do in this world i will come to know that there is so much that's there for me every day that's going to lift me up that's going to be a surprise it's going to delight me it's going to satisfy me i will be a magnet for the most amazing adventures. I will find that my brain, you know, my subconscious mind can't hold me down because who I really am just goes beyond all of the things that I thought were limitations. And it's like, of course, you know, I've had 650 people on my podcast and they have just blown through all of that stuff, you know? And it's so interesting. Like you think of the people who you admire, you know, like I think of all these people who I've met, Damon John and Howard Schultz and Harry Connick Jr. And gosh, all these people are so loving and they're so positive. They're so in the magnet, you know, but you have to be because when was the last time you were walking down the street and you got this inspired, beautiful idea in the middle of being so sad and so stressed. No, you know when you get this inspired, divine download, this like, oh, this spontaneous, like that's it, that light bulb, when there's this something feeling like excited and expansive and enthusiastic and intrigued and curious and playful, it's like then, 
right? You start to get in flow. And then you go, ooh, right? And everyone who's ever made a million bucks or a billion dollars or a trillion dollars, like all of that was on the other side of an idea, inspiration, right? Anyone who ever walked in a room and met their best friend or their boyfriend or whoever, it's like in that moment, they had to be available for like a good conversation. They had to be available for a connection, right? And then boom, how many times do you know like people, I mean, I had this with my husband. We we were next door neighbors and we were friends. We knew each other and we never even thought of each other like that. And then eventually like we could see what we couldn't see before. It's just, I wasn't even available to see. Anyway, it's just, it's just so fascinating. But um, I said that I was going to come on for like a few minutes and it's already probably been like 20. I can't keep track of it, right? Time, it's an illusion. But um, I had to come on and say that, oh, Lola, you're on here now? Lola, now you come on here? I was just talking about you. Lola, I was saying, and Colleen's on here. Colleen is a phenomenal person to have on my team. Uh, Lola, I was just telling the story of the bedtime story you told the other day, which was all about you were teaching the kids how to, you were like doing some Esther Hicks with the kids, some some Joe Dispenza. Um, Lola, you have some fans here. Anyways, guys, so I came on because, you know, if you had the most delicious cheesecake or coffee Heath Bar Crunch ice cream, or if you heard the most amazing piano vocal from Ben Rector or Ben Platt, both both Bens, you'd be like, I want to share this with you. I want you to hear this. And I just have to say, like, what's going down starting next week, this program, that I'm doing, that I do, I do it a couple times a year. It's so good. It's like melt your face off good. Somebody DM me today and she's like, I was in your free workshop and I think I wanna do it. I just need the reassurance. Can you give it to me? I'm like, yes. Like, I'm like, where are you feeling stuck? She's like, this, this, and this, like all this like scarcity. And I feel like, you know, money's hard earned or I feel like, you know, I'm too old or I feel, whatever she was saying. and. She's like, and I really want to be able to make this contribution, but I feel so stuck and so confused. Is there any way you think you can help me? I'm like, of course. Like, after a few weeks in this program, you will no longer allow these thoughts to just pass you. Like, they won't, they won't, you know, like Joe Dispenza says, like, Gandalf on the bridge. You just say, like, not today. Like, you will not pass. You will not pass here. You know, like... After a while, we do these meditations, I take you through this curriculum, you're gonna feel so good, you're not gonna wanna go feel bad again. And then when you feel bad, you're just gonna catch yourself and be like, no, not available for it. And then I'm gonna teach you how to go build a business and get paid to be you and build something that feels so good. And you're going to say, oh my God, you won't believe what happened. Like we have so many alumni now and their stories are just truly amazing. Truly, what did Jem used to say? Truly, truly outrageous. Lorraine said AEA was the best 12 weeks of my last three years. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. But it's not sweet because it's true. It's true because it's clear. It's like you can see clearly. You feel like yourself. You know what becoming yourself is? I love this quote. I don't know who said it, but I say it a lot. It's becoming you is just unbecoming everything you're not. That's it, right? It's just like enough, enough of all this. It's like you feel like you lose 4,000 tons of weight. Oh, grow with Anne, she said. AEA sets your heart on fire every week. It's next level. It is next level because this old, this thing ain't working, right? And then people sign up for programs and like, God bless them. They sign up for programs that are like, just giving you more to-dos on the to-do list, but not helping you come home 
to your actual power, like your force. Like you are literally like 27 million Teslas and you don't know it. You don't know how to use it. So it's like, I want to teach you how to come into like a space where you get out of the VR of your subconscious and you wire into your conscious mind and you come into creation and you come into this match where you are a match for the frequency on the highest level. So you send out a signal into the world, which is so bright and so good and so you. And next thing you know, you get the divine download, right? And then we have you start to share it. She says, holy S, Instagram hasn't shown me your content in forever. I'm so happy I saw one like, oh, welcome back. Michelle said, Kathy gives you the instruction booklet for being you. No, truly, like, this is a combination of all the work I've been doing for 20 years. And I just love it so much. And I do love helping you guys. Like, people will say, I want to make 10 grand a month. I'm like, why can you, why should you not be making 50 grand a month? Why should you not be making 200 grand a month? Like, it exists. You're not creating people's spending people are already spending like actually they're overspending right their buyers are already there clients are already there customers are already there anything you can think of people are already buying it people are already buying jackets people are already buying retreats people are already buying candles people are already buying everything they've already made the decision they're already buying it so now it's just about buying it from you and they're going to buy it from you because you're good because you're kind because you're creative because you're going to create a way for them to want to be a part of the energetic exchange of what you are. So that's what we do in this program. And tonight, the program will go to regular price. Um, she says, Amazonia says, if I have already built a coach for five years, will the curriculum still help me? It will help you because it's about fully expanding right? Like truth, truth, you know, if my husband's still on, well, you should drop off if, if you're still on because he hates when I talk about money. But I mean, I am a kid who didn't go to some like Ivy League school, right? And I barely graduated from high school. I had like a C plus average. And I couldn't believe it when I started making $100,000 a year writing music. I was like, oh my God, I'm making $100,000 a year to write songs? That's crazy. And then it was 200, and then it was three, and then it was 400. And then I remember when I was making a million dollars and I was like, oh my God, I'm making a million dollars to do something I love, right? And then I just kept adding more things, yes anding. It was like I went from writing songs to helping other songwriter, songwriters pitch their songs to teaching songwriters the business, to starting a podcast and starting a podcast, writing a book, then writing another book, then teaching people how to start their own business, right? Like what were the things I learned about starting my own seven figure songwriting business that I could then help them with any business. And then from there started to grow the podcast, right? And then even taught people how to do their own podcast. And then from there, started realizing, oh my gosh, like what I really want to teach is all the spiritual work, the mindfulness work that I've been doing for years, right? Studying Kabbalah and meditation and quantum physics. And, and by the time I turn around, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, wow, how many years has it been that I've been making consistently hundreds of thousands a month it's like wow it's been a while you know it's been a while now and that's an amazing it's an amazing thing but it's kind of like of course like that is truly how the world is built the world is built abundantly and that's not even the whole deal it's like once you get to that place that's sort of like being at the beginning of the monopoly board like you're just on go you just like got how this inst it's like an instrument and it's a string instrument right it's in harmony so once you get on the monopoly board 
now it's like, what am I really here to do with this? Like now I'm wired, now all the notes are working, now I'm in harmony with this thing called this universe, now what do I wanna do with this? And that's when you start to say like, like making the money is just the, be- that's like, okay, you get up in the morning, you brush your teeth, you take a shower, right? You get the body like all clean and you put clothes on. Now what do you want to do with it? You know, it's fueled up. You got breakfast. What do you want to do with the day? What kind of mark do you want to leave by the end of the day? How many people do you want to make feel important by the end of the day? How many people can you touch? How much can you say? How much more wholeness can you bring into this world that's so fragmented? What kind of ways can you solve problems? How can you innovate? It's like, that's the real stuff, right? So it's like having an abundance of money, that's awesome, right? What do you want to do with it? That's the real juicy part. The abundance part, being able to receive it, that's cool, right? You, you got the technology of how it works. So I want to do both with you guys. I want to show you how to do both. What time are the live calls? The live calls, my team is going to kill me that I can't just rattle it off. But usually the live calls, so I'll, I'll just say this because I'm pretty sure it's the time. Usually the live calls are at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern. And my calls, you know, I always say like, I'm coming on. And you would think it's like an hour live on Zoom. It's always two hours. Anyone who's in my class knows like it's hard for me to get off those calls. And we do hot seats and we go over the curriculum. We have like amazing experiences and we meditate together. I lead you in meditations. It's really cool. We do dance parties. And then Colleen, who's brilliant, uh, she does another set of 12 calls in addition to the calls that I do. And then there's a bunch of bonuses. It's pretty, it's pretty thorough. Yeah, it's always two hours. How can you f- do that when you feel like you're operating from an empty cup? Yeah, it's a great question. So that's the thing is like, our job is to open our palms, right? To open up so that we fill that cup up. And here's the thing, I said this earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. The word currency comes from the word current, like a river, which means it keeps moving. And Barbara Corcoran said to me when she was on the show, that money's like blood in the body, it has to keep moving. So the idea is, it's, it's almost the wrong metaphor. It's not about filling up the cup, It's that it's so full, like a river, that it just keeps moving and spilling out to the next person and giving it back into the atmosphere and putting it back into the ecosystem. So it makes it so much easier to fully receive when you realize that by receiving, you're just able to put more back in, that you become a conduit, you become a wave that just gives more force to the whole ocean because that's actually how it is happening. You're not siloed. You're not separate. There is no way to be separate. That's like trying to separate a wave from the ocean. It can't be done. So that's that's what we have to rewire. We're so in ego. And when I say ego, ego is the part of us that believes that we're separate, that believes that we're physical, that believes that we're our stories, that we're our bank accounts, that we are our age that we are our everything like that's ego that's not soul that's not consciousness in consciousness we're just one big consciousness one big collective and we're each a different expression of that collective so in that way the more you allow in you just keep exuding and expressing that into the whole collective and that's such a blessing so that's a big thing that we flip so truly 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 like you will leave this class not only will you be a magnet for so much because you'll be in the magnet and not only will you know step by step how to build an empire a business creating wealth around what you love but you will once and for all totally change your belief and your feeling about money and about scarcity and about abundance because you just won't see it the same way it's impossible after this so anyway it's 12 o'clock on the east coast now it's after 12 but uh the discount price will still be good until 12 o'clock pst and my team uh is on the pst 
So if you wake up on the East Coast time, they probably still won't have changed it. So you guys probably have till the morning to go sign up at the discount price. And then I'm doing a live retreat in person in Malibu for three days on a ranch. It's gonna be so gorgeous. It's like a bougie, like picture like chandeliers with gorgeous twinkly lights in the oak tree. It's gorgeous. It's gonna be the beginning of August. Um, and uh, I'm so excited to be with you guys. So if you want to join me for the retreat or for this program, you go to kathyhowercom slash join. If you have any questions, you're going to DM me. And uh, are you feeling good right now? Have you been listening for one or two or three or 25 minutes? And has it made you feel good? Right? Yes. That's what I like to see. I saw the hearts. Because the truth is like we really can feel better and what i hope is that the more time you spend with me right that you do feel good and that you do start to hear things clearer and see things clearer and you take in what's really here stop seeing through the eyes of your negative bias stop things seeing through the eyes of limitation and resistance and scarcity and lack and you see through the eyes of like whoa 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 wait a minute this, this is so obvious that this is the truth. And then now what happens? And then we'll talk about what the inspired action steps are, right? Like I I think 99% of it is this work, but I think 1%, right? 1% is what's the strategy. And I do think that that matters, right? It's kind of like if you are making slime and my girls know all about it, you might need, let's say, 1% is the activator or whatever the ingredient, but without it, you don't have the slime. So it's like 99% of it is this move, and then 1% of it is like, what is the next strategy and what in what order, right? Because the order is important too. It's like, if you're gonna make bread and you put the yeast in last, it doesn't work, you gotta do that first, right? And then you kind of mix the yeast, remember, like how it works. It's like, you need that strategy. And I feel like the more I've built things, whether it was like my first business or my second business or the podcast or whatever it was, it's like you start to see a pattern. You start to see a pattern in what works and why and when and how. And so I teach you that. Like, And I think that then... The other nice thing is that by being in a live container with me, <laughs> who's there to like love you, but also remind you of your strength and remind you that you can tolerate being uncomfortable for the sake of, like you can tolerate going ahead and putting something, something in the world, right? Because it's data, it's feedback. And it's, if I hadn't done this, you guys, if I hadn't been willing to start writing music if I hadn't been willing to start pitching it, if I hadn't been willing to start my first podcast, I wouldn't be able to take my kids right now on these amazing adventures. I wouldn't be able to do so much. I wouldn't be able to be a, a mentor or a friend in this way to other people. So it's it's so worth it. So I feel like it's one thing to have this kind of information, which is pretty cool, but being in it live you really don't just get the information, you get the transformation because you will implement it, right? We will not allow you to be left behind. So it's really cool. And we do like hot seats and coaching. And so a lot of you write me every day. Actually, I get notes every day. Do you do coaching? Do coaching? It's like inside this program, we pick up every single call. We pick up one-on-one -on -one sessions and I put people in the hot seat and it's amazing. Like we have incredible, every single one has been amazing. And yeah, abundant ever after is why people are saying AEA. Um, so it's amazing. We have a lot of alumni who do it again and again, because it's like going to yoga class, you know, you finish an eight pack at yoga works and you do it again, because why would you stop? You're now at a better place. You're now even further. It's like, we need to keep going. Like we need to keep going. So the lives, yeah, they're usually Mondays or Tuesdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, but everything gets recorded and then you can watch it. The hot seats really are fire. Um, 
they are amazing and yours was amazing fire after 50 she created that podcast it's so good and uh, we also have a mastermind which is so exciting and it's basically full um we had almost 400 people apply we took a small handful like 35 and i think we're gonna take five or so more and that's it that's gonna be amazing too and that starts in just a few weeks guys this is all i want to do is have these kinds of meaningful conversations with humans like you who hear it and want it because you know why because you came for more because you want to live your best life because you're so freaking ready to show up and see things right actually see i feel like we walk around just in trance this is what's not possible this is what i can't do Ugh, it's gotta stop so um yeah fire after 50 oh she's listening so good by the way you guys the best thing you can ever do for my podcast is to leave a review and then post about it on your Instagram and say to other people, listen to this because it's free. And I think it's so good. Like we had this conversation today with Lisa Bilyeu. It's amazing. She created a billion dollar business. She went from zero dollars to one billion, over a billion in five years. She created a uh, Quest uh, protein bars, but I said to her, even more valuable than the money she's made is the way she speaks. Like if you honestly, <laughs> Allison said, I feel like I want you to never stop talking. Thank you. If you listen to this episode with Lisa today on my podcast, you will just be so lit up. So that's at kathyheller.com slash podcast. It's so good. So good. I mean, a billion dollars in five years? One billion? Imagine if that was the conversation we were having. Like, instead of the conversation being the same boring, like, fear is so boring. It's so boring. So, instead of having the same boring conversation about, like, what's not possible and how hard it is, and no, 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 and then someone else chimes in, yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Imagine if the conversation was, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm looking for all the clues of how I'm going to get to be one of those women billionaires because Mother Teresa said it takes a checkbook to change the world. And if Lisa Bilyeu is yet another person who made a billion dollars, then that means there's evidence that that exists. And then that means it's doable because it's been done. And that means now what can I underwrite? What can I get so excited about changing in this world? What can I do with that? Who can I inspire by just being me and doing that? It's like, that is so cool, right? She said that when she started these Quest protein bars, people were like, this is never gonna work. They said to her, there's already like a million protein bars. And you ever notice that like every story starts that way? It's never gonna work. It's never gonna work. It's like, can people just shut up already? Like, don't they know how boring that is? Like every story, don't they know there's always that character? Like it's never gonna happen. No one's ever gonna, what are you talking about, right? Like my friend Amy, people were like, you're not gonna snowboard. You don't have actual, you, you, you're on prosthetic legs. It's never gonna work. It's like, do you really wanna be the character who says those words? You know how the story goes. What are you talking about? Of course she snowboarded. Of course she was in the Paralympics. Of course she was in Dancing with the Stars. Of course she won gold medals. What are you talking about? Like, stop talking. It's so boring. It's not even interesting, right? So it's like, wouldn't it be cool if we just took it as a fait accompli? Like, of course you're gonna make a billion dollars. Of course you're gonna do the unthinkable. Of course you're gonna do the impossible. Of course you're gonna do that. Of course you're gonna enjoy that. Of course you're gonna have the most epic day tomorrow. Of course the most synchronistic things are gonna happen to you by the end of the week. Of course they're gonna, of course, of course. That's when you start to cook, right? But you start playing in that other space day in and day out never gonna happen oh forget it it's all da -da -da. it's like what do you expect it's like of course because you're expecting it you're just constantly looking for the evidence that that's what's there and you're like see 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 right it's like today in the car my husband said to my daughter 
you know, shout it out when you see a red car. And we saw two and he's like, oh, there's not that many red cars anymore. And then we found another one. And then she found another one, right? Because she's looking for it. You're going to find what you look for. But if you're constantly looking for, her, see, that's disappointing. See, you don't get it. See, it doesn't work. See, money is hard. See, it never comes in. And it's like, there's the evidence. There's the evidence. There's the evidence. So we got to change it. So I am like the ultimate <laughs> tape changer. Like I will change that tape in your mind. And then instead of just changing it, I'll give you action. Because the th nice thing about taking action is that once you're in that really, 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 really sweet pocket where you're thinking your head's right, your thoughts, your vibes, it's super high vibe, right? Super high freak. Once you're there and then you get busy being generous, you get busy not worrying about your ego. How's it going to feel? How am I going to be? What if it's not received right? Like That's all ego. That's ego talking about itself, being obsessed with itself. But souls are not like that. Souls just want to give. And once you're in that action, coming from that higher place, it's just so amazing what you wind up, the momentum you create, the momentum, right? Because execution, execution trumps inspiration because everyone can be inspired, right? But now, boom, right? You do. So that's the 1%. It's like, you have 99%, which is super important. 99% of the 100 is that inspir inspiration, that fully, fully whole signal, that clear Wi-Fi. But now once you have that Wi-Fi, you send the email, push, push send, right? Once you get the broadband, you publish the podcast, boom. Now you got something, right? You need the, the energy and then the action. So that's what we're doing. We start next week in Abundant Ever After. You can join us by going to kathyheller.com slash join. The discount is good till the morning. Um, and uh, there's also a retreat. You can sign up for that also there. That's going to be in Malibu in August. And the podcast today with Lisa Bilyeu, one of the best conversations we've ever had. You will, you're guaranteed to love it. So inspiring to hear her talk about not just making a billion dollars, but everything she says about what a revolutionary thing it is, what a radical thing it is to just move forward, like radical, to just move on forward, no matter what your mind tells you or what the evidence looks like, you just move forward. Um... She said, so I can do both. That's gorgeous. That's amazing. I can't wait to get to know you better in there. Um, oh, that podcast was the first. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you heard it. Yeah, right? She's like, that was the first I ever heard. And I was like, I have to sign up. I love you. I love that. Well, guys, I'm going to let you get some rest. And um, this was super fun. I'll see you guys inside the program next week. I'll see some of you at the retreat. Give you a hug in person. It's going to be gorgeous, and uh, I hope this filled you up. <laughs>